Let me give me some water. All righty. Hello, 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 everyone. Good morning. Morning. All right. Bright eyed and bushy tailed. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. All right. I don't right, think I've done go. this one yet, Caesar. Good oh, job. Oh, you have it? Yes. This is a new one. <laughs> no. I tried. I tried. <laughs> yeah, right. it keeps it interesting anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So today I'm joined by my friend over here, Seth from Ohio. He yep. teaches in <laughs> My English School Meravigli in Milan. And he um, he can sing, he can dance, he can act. He is a triple threat. I forgot <laughs> to send you that stuff. Oh, no worries. I'm no making worries. a note. Okay, cool. <laughs> but I want to. <laughs> I was waiting for it, but I didn't want to, you know, insist. You know, I was sure you were busy. <laughs> Plus, it was the weekend, too, so. <laughs> Whoa! I just uh, I'm making a note on my phone. I'm yeah. writing send Caesar singing help, but it auto corrected yeah. and said send Caesar ISIS virus. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Not oh, what man. I intended. <laughs> oh, all right, there you go. Went a whole different direction with that. <laughs> yeah, it did. That was an interesting note. <laughs> well. Uh, so, um, yesterday I hurt my, my back, like an old person, like you yeah. see on TV, oh. like what, I bent like down, standing up? Ah, but... well, like I seriously, I feel like, cause I think what it was is, well, first of all, cause we're not doing anything. And yeah, yesterday I sat, I did all my lessons on sitting on my bed. And so I think oh, my back was probably yeah. just not. Uh, they have well. like yeah, and then it was really because we had a, a package delivered yesterday. Yeah, because uh, we have one of those espresso Nespresso coffee machines, you know. So we I had the little, it. the little pods, the little things. Yeah. but we got a lot of them, and so the box they're not heavy. They're not heavy. Okay. But, so we had this box, pretty big box, um, you know, with all the little boxes inside of all the different coffees. Yeah, and. I, I bent over to pick that up and it was open. So I like yeah. grabbed the, the flaps of the box. Ah, okay. Okay. But I mean, not something heavy for real, yeah. like not heavy. And when I was p p picking it up, like I felt it, like I felt it in my yeah. back. And as soon as it happened, oh. I was like, Oh God. Like, and it's never happened to me before, but oh, no. like immediately, like, you know, like in TV when on the show, like when some person and they like grabbed their back and you think, yeah, yeah. I wonder what that's really like. That's what it's really like. <laughs> oh, trust me. I know. I already like I, I already have that problem. And I'm, I mean, I'm happen. surprised that yeah, well, of course, because I mean you you dance and so you know you really stretch, you know, a lot. Plus you have a really good yeah. posture as well. <laughs> but man, like <laughs> last night, like to find the right position to, oh, to lay, like it show it makes you realize how much your back is like central to everything you you know like you reach for a cup and you're like Ugh! Exactly. <laughs> going to the bathroom like putting the toilet seat up you're like how am i going to get down there to grab that toilet seat to put it up? <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly that's why i'm trying oh, to like man. at least i mean I'm, obviously i cannot you know exercise as much as i normally would inside you know because mm -hmm. i mean we have a small house so it's kind of hard yeah but like I got to at Sit least up, do some push ups. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A little bit of yoga too to just kind of try and, you know, stretch it out and stuff and just mm -hmm. get them get the muscles, you know. Just wake them yeah. up basically. So, after this, like cuz we've been doing I think I told you we've been doing just dance, which is really fun. Yeah. But, um but but that's mostly like maybe more like aerobic. It's not like really exactly, uh um, yeah. you know. So maybe you should do some stretching. Yeah, because like like you said, in general, I'm really flexible, and I'm I don't consider myself to be like weak, 
at all in terms yeah, I mean, yeah, I know yeah. I'm not like super fit, but like, you know, I mean, before all of this coronavirus stuff, I was dancing every week and of like yeah, which is full out intense. big. Yeah. So I mean, like, even if you dance for five minutes, that's intense, let alone an hour. An hour and a half. Yeah. And oh, so an then and I was like, oh, and now a stupid <laughs> box that does yeah. not weigh anything has yeah. like incapacitated me. <laughs> like, come on. Jeez. It hit me like the, the like maybe after the first two weeks where you know I was just kind of being lazy and I was like oh you know this is gonna pass soon so for now I'll just relax and I wasn't doing anything and then I don't know what I did I think I was just sitting or maybe I stood up and, I, and then I just I, I was just dying you know it hurts a lot it's and like it's weird because it's like it's like constant you yeah know, yeah, it's yeah exactly constant. and it's it, and it's like this deep pain. You know, mm -hmm. really sharp and deep pain, you know? Yeah. So it's, and now I find because I'm being very like rigid, I'm trying yeah. not to move. So yeah. like the muscles around what's hurt are becoming tight because they're not moving. Uh, and it's like, yeah. Yeah. I, I understand why like old people get mean and cranky because yeah. you're like, I, I just want to reach right over there. Yeah, and yeah. I can't get there because it hurts. <laughs> Oh, like I, if 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 we weren't working from home, I think I would I, I would be thinking like, can I make it to work? I mean, you know what I mean? Because it's yeah. like everything about nothing's. I'm not sick, but like yeah. I'm slow. You know, I would have yeah. to, I would definitely have to tell like our Giordano, our boss, like yeah, I need one room. Like you can't move me today. Like yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. move from room to room. Put me or, downstairs. Or be going, exactly, we're going up those stairs. <laughs> And okay, that is my room today. Like, God, it's crazy. Oh, but is it like <laughs> in the lower part? It's like all the way at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the worst. Oh, that's the worst. And, it, and like right now I'm sitting, I have a hot pad, you know, behind yeah. me on my back. And it's just. Oh, that's good. I mean, at least, you you know, you're taking care of it. Well, I think that in the morning when you wake up, it's particularly tight because all yeah, night yeah, long yeah. you're basically not moving and. Uh, yeah. I was glad though. At least I could sit on my side. I was finding some positions that were comfortable. But yeah, yeah. Oh, well. So yeah. I, I, I'm a hundred percent with you there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. So you have yeah. all my sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see that we have one viewer. If right. you're with us and you're. Yeah, and if you're not Giordano, please say hi to us. If you are Giordano, you can say hi to us too. But uh, <laughs> oh man, um, but yeah. So that's my. I have some news from the quarantine. Most of us have no news. I have news. Yeah, my back is messed oh, up. Oh, <laughs> that, that that's my news. Else. No, that's my news. <laughs> oh man, hard times, right? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Stop. Hi, Anna. We have oh, a friend. Anna. Perfect. She's even waving. I love emojis. Oh, I know. <laughs> There's this one. Tell I'm putting, uh, what's it called? Like, chill cat. Did you see that <laughs> one? Chill cat? No. That means they must be on their phone, right? Because... Uh, maybe I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Probably, unless they've added it to YouTube. Because I feel like, which they might have. Yeah. Yeah. And it always love the Disney mug, by the way. My mom got me this for Christmas. Oh yeah, I have a I have a big old on one goofy side. He's one, happy. Like a, yeah. <laughs> ah okay oh <laughs> all righty so what are we talking about today so um today how to so it's sort of like giving instructions or the order the order that we do things i've i was looking i think this will be fun to do with you because you like do some interesting different things tell me about <laughs> yeah. those things <laughs> Uh, so I need to be see. entertained today. I need to be entertained. Okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay, so I like to do like parkour. So kind of like yeah. jumping around different things, you know. Um, before the quarantine, 
I was working on my backflips. Wow. Know? Yeah. I, so I like definitely can do them anymore. Like standing in one position and just jumping. Exactly. Jumping your foot. Wow. That's, exactly. you need a lot of that. How do you, because you have like a, uh, I don't know if studio is the right word, but like a gym that you go to. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So do you have but, like yeah. mats? Because you would have we to do, do yeah, no, definitely. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> On cement, I read your backflip. You're not nope. gonna do very many backflips. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like when I practiced with my friends, like I would go, you know, on the grass, go out on the grass and, and practice there. But when we're at the gym, yeah, we have these little mats. So we have like a big old mat for like big jumps if you're jumping from really high up and you can even land on your back there, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's where we kind of started learning. And okay. then we moved to the, the smaller mats that are really thin. And, you know, we started off with like three of them and then two and then one. Now I can do it with one of them. And, yeah, wow. I mean, I could. I could do it with one. Now yeah, I, I already, cannot do anything. <laughs> yeah. I was dancing, you know, from January. I started dancing up until now and uh, or up until a few weeks ago. And yeah. it's crazy how fast your muscles go away. You know? I know. Like it sucks. all this it work does. for nothing. I know. <laughs> I mean, I, I know, know. have muscle memory, so it's going to be easier to get back into it, of course. But still, it's like all that progress. You, you know, it's kind of like you're going to be taking that, a few setbacks, regardless. That's what I find because you know, like when I was much younger, when I was dancing, I was really, really strong. Yeah. And like now, when I dance, I know what things can feel like and what things what my body is capable of but i yeah. absolutely can't do it right now yeah. and it's very frustrating because you know i'm sure it's the same with with something like parkour a sport yeah. that's sort of like art at the same time like there's a beauty to it when you can do it well but your if your body can't do it you, you just can't make things happen you know yeah absolutely and there are th yeah there are things that i know like I know how they should feel. I know how they should look, but my I can't make my body do it. You know, my body just won't do it. So it's like, ah. <laughs> and we'll have oh, to be I starting know, all know. over again. <laughs> oh man! And then we're gonna be starting when it oh, when it's hot. So that's not gonna be as awesome. nice, you know. I know. I know. Just, we we just Gross. completely are missing the best part of the year. One of the best parts of the year, in my opinion. Well, at least it hasn't gotten warm yet. It's still yeah, a little it's cold. Crazy dude, because like for a little bit, for maybe like a week, it was it was starting it was to get really a nice, hot. yeah. And then and then it just dropped. Now it's really so it cold. makes it easier to stay inside when it's cold. At yeah, least. yeah, exactly. At least we have this, but yeah. goodness. You don't have to bust out the AC. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I have oh, to man. move myself, and moving myself is difficult. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm struggling in this chair. Just every hour <laughs> in this chair is just, you know, like three hours of having to try and you know, fight to get my backpack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh. All righty. So let's see here. What do we got? So. Yeah, so I'll read these for us. So um, in this focus activity, writing instructions, sequencing words, and talking about hobbies. Exactly. And... Uh, Oh, no, no more Anna. Okay, bye, Anna. She's like, you guys aren't talking about anything. <laughs> We're talking about work. everything we need to be. I know, right? <laughs> so, yeah, sequencing. There. So, in order. All right. Let's go ahead and... So, hobby. So, what is your favorite hobby? So, out of all of the things that you do or have done, what would you say is your favorite? Well, I have a new hobby that I'm sort yeah. of getting into. And this quarantine, I started maybe last summer, but the quarantine period has helped me <laughs> work yeah. on it for real. And yeah. I've started writing music. Ooh, wow. So yeah. like mm, by writing music, so it could be played on any instrument, right? Well, well the music or I'm writing... It... 
Yeah. It's it's a bit more specific because you like uh, you. I studied music, you know, at university, and I worked for a while um, after that in as a church musician, making music at church, and um, so I had choirs and things like that. And so I'm writing music that could be performed at church because my my goal is actually uh, yeah, to, yeah. like gospel to try. Yeah, but my goal is to try and get published. Like I would like maybe yeah. for it to become a little maybe side job kind of thing or my job. Yeah. It's not too no, late. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um, sure. But, uh, you know, it's, well, that's why this time has been good uh, with, with the quarantine because I have lots of time to, to work on it. Because I've never, when I worked before, I did write music for my job. Sometimes I needed to write really small things. Yeah. But, um. And and one time, well, along I think like more than ten years ago, I did send three pieces to get to be published. I tried to get them published with this company that in the United States is very for Catholic churches. It's like they they're the big publishers for for the United States. And I sent music to them, and um, all three pieces were denied, which is normal, you know. Like writers always say, <laughs> but the. The publisher, someone from the company, called me to help me and said, "Like you're, you know, like you're on the right track." And it gave me some tips about, uh, tips about what to do. But then I just never did it anymore because I, I don't know. I just my, I was happy with my job. I didn't need to. Um, but now that I have time, you know, I still, yeah. So now that I have time and um, I'm, I'm, and I'm not doing like I don't know if you know this, but when I moved to Italy. I came here, yeah. I started a master's degree in music and that's oh, really no. what I love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I like teaching English, but I love music. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I, I know what you mean. Like I like teaching English, but of course, like my thing is like languages, you know what I mean? Just yeah, in general, not, not specifically English, you know, which helps with yeah. English, but at the same time, you know. Yeah, so I'm trying maybe to find a way to get myself back, you know, if I could if I could be working somehow with music, that would be my ideal thing. But in Italy, like the, the, the money is very art. Being an, an, an artist or a musician is really difficult here. There's no money. And, you know, yeah, unfortunately yeah. you need a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So at least enough to give by. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yeah. But so that's my hobby right now <laughs> that hopefully is going to turn into also a life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and you can you yeah. can do it now, you know, yeah. unlike some other hobbies which are kind of you know a little bit harder to do right now. Well, I'm hoping actually because I'm getting trying to build the habit of doing it every day a little bit is that even yeah. when we come back to normal life, that I'll continue some of these good uh, good habits that I've created. So yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm on the I'm I'm trying to do the same thing. Right now, um, because of the quarantine, so I started studying German a while back. Yeah. But it, it was always kind of on and off. Like I would study for, for a while and then I would kind of just stop because I was too busy or just, you know, mm -hmm. for one reason or another. And then I, I finally started, you know, working on it again. And now that, you know, I actually have time to do it every single day, I've been, you know, at least, I mean, even, even five minutes a day, you know, because sometimes I, I just don't really feel like, doing all too much uh -huh. and then other days I'll, I'll do a lot and but I, I feel like i'm actually finally you know making a breakthrough you know yeah how do you because i i really like language as well and i always try to be learning something else but it's weird with language because there's like that basic ability of being able to say like hi my name is which you and i know is not speaking a language <laughs> i mean yeah, exactly. you know <laughs> um and there's the aspect of when you get to like the cultural side of the language. That's to me is when you start like knowing a language when you can do exactly. stuff. With it. But like yeah. I'm, I started teaching myself um, uh, Dutch. I don't, oh, I don't know why. Okay. I just, I, I like it. It's kind of ugly, but Your I like it. Also and, um, studying Dutch. He has been. For yeah. A while. Well, but like I'm at the very beginning. The only thing I'm using is Duolingo yeah. right now, and, ah, okay. which is a good, it's a good starter anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, but, absolutely. But what do you, what are the things you do? Because I'm curious, because, you know, like I'm, I've thought about buying a book or, but I don't really, you know, I have both languages that I know. So French and, and um, Italian, 
I studied them, but I learned them by living there, you know? Yeah. And I've never... You can't really do right now with, you know... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, like, the way I learned all the other languages was basically by trying to immerse myself. So the main thing was actually finding people and, and being able to talk to them. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously with, with German, that's a little bit harder for me now because, I mean, I don't really know anybody who speaks German. Yeah. But um, sometimes when I play online, I'm actually able to, to, to play with, you know, some German speakers right. and, and actually right. practice. And then the other thing I try to do when I'm not doing that, you know, because that's something that doesn't really happen every day, you know, it's every so often. So what I try to do every day is I'll go ahead. I have this little app kind of course thing that I found, which is actually a really, really good one because I've I've used a lot of different ones for like mm -hmm. different languages and stuff. But this one is the best one, the most complete one I found so far. It's really good. What's it called? It's or is called... it for German? Is it for German specifically? No, no, but or... they also have it for other languages. I'm not sure if they have Dutch though. I know they have like the the more common ones like you know German, French, French Spanish, Spanish, all that yeah. stuff. Uh, it's called We No. Like we, we know. know, we know, ah, okay. but it's a play on words. So it's like we and no, like we as in uh, in French. O U I and ah, okay, o. yeah, we know. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm gonna open that up real quick. Do a search. Yeah. We, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We know. Okay. <laughs> and um, no, because the, oh, that's a always a hard. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, because like they had like a little deal on it now because of you know obviously <laughs> the situation. Yeah. So. Well, because like yeah. what I found is uh, it's true. There's there's for any language you want to learn, there's so many, um, you know, there's so many things, and it's like I've paid for things before, and then once you have it, you're like, this isn't doing anything, you know? Exactly. Um, and. Like, I think Duolingo is really useful. I really do. As a beginner, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's that's really a, well made. That's that's what, that's how I felt, too. But I feel like it's it's only good if you're, like, really, like, a beginner. You know what I mean? Once you get to a certain point, it can become a little bit boring, you know? Yeah, it's true. And, like, I did the entire Italian one. Um, yeah? When I was living in China to prepare. And um, ah, okay. I did the whole thing. And you know when you go through the entire thing, yeah, the 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 part that's lacking is that you never talk, you know. Mm, and so, like, it's really good for vocabulary and for grammar. It really, really is. But like, I still had to get here and then actually make my mouth <laughs> start yeah, moving. Yeah, exactly. But um, you know, but um, and that's obviously the hardest part is finding people to talk to. But um. Yeah. It's. I think it's fun too. I like, and I. I enjoy like. Um, I don't know. Like, but I think it's really cool. Like how, seeing how languages are connected. You know, like the words oh, that are the same. I like in. <laughs> in Dutch, it's so weird because I. I think I picked Dutch. Well, first I went to the Netherlands last year, and I. I thought it was really a cool country. I really liked it. Um, yeah. That was really beautiful. The language is not so pretty, but it's. Um, it's the closest language to English, you know? Exactly. And, um, and for that reason, I thought, like, um, also I found out that my, like, I did that DNA test thing, you know, where you oh, take yeah, your yeah. spit and send it yeah. off. And as it turns out, like, I'm from, like, my family's from there. Like, I was, like, like huge amount. Like, they give you percentages, you know? And most people, yeah. it was kind of interesting because, like, you know, when they show these videos and things, people have, you know, like these 40% this, 50% this, you know, and or then like lots of little, <laughs> yeah, but then like these little tiny percentages of like, you know, even something weird and, you know, yeah. something random where you're like, okay, who knows how, Japanese. how did Mongolia get in there or whatever? Yeah. And so when I did mine, it was, you know, and I also did it with, with Andrea, my, my partner yeah. and like, what was really crazy about mine was when it came back, I'm something like 92% Northern, like, like Belgium and, and the Netherlands. That's oh, a huge wow. amount. That like, that means my family like did not move. You are, <laughs> you, know? not, you are basically. Yeah. Not. <laughs> yeah. And then um, the other little pieces, and this probably just was like fluke of probably like, you know, 
some businessman was in town and who knows what happened kind of thing yeah, like yeah. the milkmaid because like i had a little tiny bit so the leftover was eight percent which is yeah. you know when you think of all your dna is not very much and it was like a little bit a few percentage points of um iberian so like spain portugal and then a few a few percentage points of balkan which is what like the like um montenegro bulgaria yeah, right. like down there oh, no, that's um, an idea. and then the other and then a little tiny piece of um scandinavia but and like that, that was it like i had oh. four four yeah. things and you know like and what what I was really happy about, you'll appreciate this because you're like me, and this is like yeah. no British. I am not British at all. <laughs> I, do. I do. Not a I drop like that. of, and that, and that now was I'm kind of fun. Though, I was like, Andrea I did it. his. Yeah, I, I know it was it. cool. And then like Andrea, well, I don't remember everything about his, but like he was a like over fifty percent was like Greece. And his oh. family in Italy is from around um, like Napoli, like southern. So uh, like, um, so that that made some sense, yeah. And um, but he had some British blood as well. So I, oh, then yeah. the joke, the joke that he makes is that he's more of an English speaker than I am. Oh, of but, course. <laughs> but then he was he was more Greek than Italian. So I was like, well, you're not even Italian. You're like Greek and British mixed together, but you're living in Rome. So come on. But <laughs> but um no it was take kind him of down cool. a notch. And, take him down a notch. <laughs> but that but that made me kind of also like in a kind of stupid way because obviously I, at this point I have no connections to those parts of of the world but yeah. i was like i want to learn those languages i want to yeah. learn spanish i want to learn portuguese oh, i want to learn you know and and for some reason yeah, i yeah. tend to always i always think it's more fun to learn like kind of like obscure like the weird languages like not the mainstream yeah. like i don't yeah. want to learn spanish i want to learn portuguese <laughs> oh, if, you, if, you, if you decide to let me know i got you i got you with some resources <laughs> that one, I, I feel like that one's a little bit no, easier cool. to learn just because, like, one, okay, the problem with Spanish that makes it so hard to learn is that there are so many different ones. There are so yeah. many different Spanish, and every single country speaks Spanish a different way. So it's kind of like you got you got to pick one, you know what I mean? So not like English where we have different, like, big, you know, like Australian or British, but it's more than that, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because at least with English, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of countries that speak English, but I mean, you've got like three main ones, you know, North American, British, and Australian. Then you've also got right. the other accents as well. But I mean, you know. But but in it, I, from what I understand in Spanish, though, there's also like, I mean, there's um, like even like the, the differences are bigger, like vocabulary and the way the yeah. language is even used is quite different. Exactly. Think, yeah, yeah. Now. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, you've got, for example, you've got European Spanish, which is basically Spain. Then you've mm -hmm. got South American Spanish, but each South American country, like, speaks in a completely different way. And then you've yeah. got Caribbean Spanish as well. Ah. Which is, you know, the kind of Spanish I speak. But, obviously, like... Caribbeans like Puerto Rico, Cuba, and the Dominican Republic, our Spanishes are more similar to each other, but they're still okay. very, very different. Okay. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like saying, yeah. you know, New York versus California. You know, it's still American, but it's, you know, it's different. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is good. This is because, like, I with, with Dutch, I've been doing Duolingo and I probably, um, well, like you know, like the maybe the bad part of Duolingo is there's like a lot of repetition of the same things, so you get mm. really strong at a very fixed set of vocabulary, exactly. which is helpful because I mean it's the basic stuff. But yeah. like, um, but um, but it can be a little bit demotivating once you know. If, yeah, if you, you need that kind of you know stimulus to kind of say, okay, it's tough. But, you know, it's when I think because like as a teacher and also because now I'm trilingual, like 
I know how to approach language. I know how to learn, you know? Exactly. So like gra grammar makes sense to me, you know? Um, and so I probably, I think a book would be a, a helpful thing because I, I actually, and I think you probably do too. I really like doing uh, like exercises, like oh, conjugate absolutely. the verb. Yeah. I love this. Conjugate the verb is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think with right. the way we approach language is a little bit different from maybe somebody learning their first language because they, you know, they basically need to understand how to approach it. But the fact that we already know how to approach it, we can kind of just jump into just the practical part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is I, I found it really – have you been to the Netherlands before? No, I've never been. I would like to. It was really weird to me. It was as interesting, like, because um, the – the cadence of yeah. like the way that they speak it yeah. sounds like it sounds like english yeah and um so it was very interesting like um there were times i went there with andrea and there were times where people would talk to us in dutch because yeah. we would be in a restaurant or something and because of the way that the you know like imagine in english if you're sitting at a restaurant even if it's loud if the waiter yeah. comes over and says um can I take your order? Like they're going to use a specific and yeah, no, like, no, of course. and you don't even have to hear yeah, the they, words, they, but you hear the cadence. So there yeah. were times when people would say things to me and I would start talking and yeah. Andrea would say like, how do you, how do you know what they said? And I'm like, well, it was obvious. Like, but they weren't even, <laughs> they weren't, or they, <laughs> they'd say something to us in Dutch and I would understand it because even so many of the words are like the same or, yeah, yeah. And so I would just like be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I would look at Andre and be like, are you, is it okay? And he'd be like, I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> and I'd be like, well, why not? And then he's like, because they're not speaking English. They're speaking Dutch. But like, it was really interesting to me. Like, oh, that's so cool. So many things they, the weird part is the spelling though. Like, um, Oh, yeah. Chago showed me. It's weird. And, and, and what's interesting, <laughs> sometimes are words that like look, that the sound like like two of them in particular that I yeah. I'm thinking of now are the word fish, yeah, which is pronounced fish, <laughs> yeah. but it's spelled V I S, uh, but okay. the pronunciation is fish, and the other one yeah. is owl, yeah, which is pronounced owl, yeah. but it's it's spelled U -I -U -L. no, it's U I L, ah, cool, but it's pronounced owl. So these interesting. If you were reading, you wouldn't. Yeah make you might not that you might not see that you know yeah but yeah. when you hear it when you hear it you're like oh yeah no problem <laughs> yeah so that's quite uh, interesting that's yeah. how i felt like with um when i started learning portuguese actually because it's very similar to spanish mm -hmm. so so similar so basically like if you look at written portuguese and you know spanish it's super easy and you can understand it but if you hear it, it's completely different. So it's it's in a way similar to French and Italian, where yeah. you know if you see them written down, they look very similar. But if you hear them, the pronunciation is completely different. Yeah, but even Portuguese but they're even more similar in that case. Okay, what? yeah, because Portuguese for me, knowing French somehow, port reading Portuguese from with French was really easy. Yeah, because um, they also have the um, the what's it called. I don't know what you call that in English. Cedi. The, the Cedi. Yeah, the Cedi yeah. That, that goes under the C. Yeah. Yeah. But no, with Romance languages, once you know one, like at this point, yeah. when I hear people speaking Spanish, I basically, and I've never studied Spanish, but um, you, I can understand so much of it, you know, so, so much of it. Yeah. But um, yeah, language is cool though. What's fun yeah. is when when you go to like a language that's totally outside of, well, even like to German. But like when I was in China, yeah, oh man, um, oh man, yeah, where there's no there's no connection at all, and uh, but it's cool at the same time because uh, I don't know, like you, it's just neat. It's like wow, people made so many different ways to get things done to talk. Yeah, exactly. But, because Chinese grammar I doesn't. I in, in uh, Vietnam. Yeah, in Vietnam, yeah. Like Vietnamese is also heavily influenced by Chinese as well. Obviously, mm -hmm. the 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 way they write is completely different, but the the language itself was influenced by it. You know. Yeah, yeah, and it was cool, like with Chinese, because there is 
is Chinese is actually not a very difficult language. Um, the difficult part, the grammar is really, really easy. The grammar is, but, but how do I say like the grammar is easy, but when you begin learning it, yeah, it, the structure is so different that mm -hmm. that's what's difficult. But once you get it, like yeah. there's no conjugation of verbs. Oh. There's no, there are no tenses. They don't have past, present and future. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> uh, they don't have a uh, number, so they don't have singular and plural. Oh, um, wow. They don't have gender. So um, it seems like, well, how do you talk about anything? <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but you basically just like for, for time, you say when. Yeah. So if something's in the past, you say yesterday. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you don't have to. I mean, you just say it without having to kind of, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, so you the verb like, doesn't like with the case uh, things, you know, yeah, the the verb Where doesn't communicate can, yeah. time exactly. Yeah, it's interesting. So they do have things like they have, and this is common, I think, in the Asian languages, like yeah. they're called part particles, so they have sounds that don't have a meaning a specific yeah. meaning but they tell you how a word is functioning so like uh, yeah i've heard about that in like japanese i think they do that as well right and it, yeah in china yeah and in china they have it a little bit so like in for example like they have le le means yeah. it's attached it's attached to a verb but it basically yeah. means that that action is is complete is finished so it's kind uh, of like a past tense yeah, yeah um, exactly but not really you can't say that it's a tense because it's not a tense but um yeah you know and then they, and they have but another one that's something yeah and they have another one that means uh like basically like this action will happen but it's a it's a particle so it's it's a little bit different but you don't always have to use it that's what gets confusing to us but like uh, <laughs> um, yeah no but it was it was kind of it was surprisingly easy to to learn um yeah like i learned how to read it really well actually yeah. um cool. because that was really interesting to me the the writing system because there is a it is a system it's not just like yeah. every word you know uh what's cool is like you've probably you because you like language you've probably examined chinese characters before and you notice there's lots examined <laughs> not so much but i've seen them yeah yeah well, there's like little pieces inside. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so the system is like, that's really cool, actually, is that yeah. like anything that like a person, any, any word that would be something that a person, like, like a job, like teacher, yeah. policeman, whatever. Yeah. There's a, there's one little character that represents person. person. Uh, and if, cool. if the other noun, like teacher it's like person's going to be inside of it so that you when you see it you know this is this already this character is referring to a live a person but there's another one that's like um like that represents an animal so if you see that inside inside the character then you know that this is not going to be a person it's going to be an animal and then there's wow. another one for like fruits and you know um oh, that's so cool yeah, yeah. So like, you, like one, now you got me. You, 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 uh, uh, you got me interested. <laughs> I'm like simplifying it a lot, just because. Yeah. But um, but there is like a system to it. Like like I remember at one point I was learning all of the the body parts <laughs> because yeah. those are the things you learn, right? Yeah. And course. um, all of the organs. Yeah. I don't know why, but like the organs of the body, the first part of those characters is always, um composed of it's like two characters that they can put there's a way that you can put them together mm -hmm. and make one character and the okay. first part is always the symbol for the moon i don't know why the moon <laughs> it might have to do with like yin yang it probably comes from something cultural from the past uh, but yeah like, of course. but Maybe so when you see the, the moon yeah but when you would see the moon at the beginning yeah you would know that probably this is a body part ah uh, cool yeah, oh, so there, there's really interesting curious. things like that. Yeah, um, but it becomes really beautiful. And, um, you know, the weird thing is then like, and this is so different from like uh, Italian or English is I can read, like if I go to Chinatown here in Milan, yeah. 
I can read a lot of the um like the signs. Cool. Like I can understand them, but I don't know yeah. how to pronounce I don't know how to pronounce it because I don't know how uh, to read okay. the character. And that's a different yeah. thing. Like the, the character doesn't give you any information about how to pronounce it. Yeah. yeah. Which is kind of which is different from English, you know, or yeah. Italian. You can see a word and you can read it even if you don't know what it means. Exactly. But in Chinese, that was a that's a frustrating thing. You're like, I see this yeah. character. I know that it means flower, but I don't know yeah. how to say. I don't know flower. how to say, and I can't in, just in read Chinese, the character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you have it's to really, know it. Really it's, really so in a way, it's similar to kind of English, uh, you know, where you know you even if you can read it, even if you can see the word, it doesn't mean you know how to pronounce it. You know what I mean? Like, let's take the word kernel. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Colonel Sanders. Like, <laughs> you know? We took that from French too, right? So it's like... Exactly. You know, it was a mix yeah. of the old French word and the Italian spelling of it, basically. Yeah. yeah. Another cool thing with Chinese, you'll like this too, is like with the way it's written, yeah. is when they're translating foreign words. Yeah. Um, like, for example, like Milan in Chinese yeah. is Milan. But... Yeah. um. What's really neat is, you know, so that word is completely Western, com not Chinese. Yeah. And so they, when they, they have to decide what characters to use to say Milan, because every yeah. syllable is a character. And so for me, this is this to me, when I learned this, I was like, this is really cool. And they don't always do this, but they can do this. Yeah. Um, like, so me in Chinese is also the word for a word for rice. Mm. And in the area of Milan, they eat a lot of rice. And so they use the character for rice as the first part of Milan. Wow. And then Lan, I don't remember exactly, but Lan had the character they use is something about um, like being beautiful. Yeah. So because Milan is a beautiful city. So there's, yeah. so like in the, in the name of Milan in, Ita in Chinese, you have rice and you together and when you read it i mean it just means milan uh, but um it's kind of interesting they, they can do yeah. things like this uh that in our so sometimes inside the character there's like a secondary level to yeah, yeah, yeah say, exactly which is really cool um new york was another one but i don't remember now i can't remember the um what they what they mean but um yeah some like paris was is bali and it just it's nothing it's just sounds you know, ah, okay. but, um, but sometimes the, 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 yeah, sometimes they choose specific, uh, characters because it, the character also gives you like information about what you're talking about. It's really interesting. It's wow. like, wow. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I, I, um, I think I've seen that also in other languages. I mean, in English, we also have it a little bit, but not as much where kind of like the name of the place kind of tells you, like, it's not, it's not just the name. It's not uh -huh. just like Seth, it's not just Caesar, but it actually means something as well. You know what I mean? Like, um, well, I think it, you know, if you say Deutschland, that means uh -huh. like country, uh, the people's country, basically. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking of like you talked earlier about that app, We Know. Yeah. And that's really popular in English to do right now to use um, similar sounding things, but use the you know, the, like the play on words. Yeah, exactly. I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love play on words. Yeah. So oh, what a talk. Work. What a, yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, well, I see that now we have three people with us, but we've, unfortunately you guys came right towards the end of our lesson. <laughs> yeah. But so, please guys, tell us what are your hobbies? Yeah. What are your hobbies and what do you like doing? Yeah. Uh, we've been spending the whole lesson talking about language, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, kind of our hobbies. We like language a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, so do you try, you said every day you do, your goal is to try and do something, but you don't always get to it. Exactly. Well, I mean, even if I don't do anything, I'll try. Well, actually, no, I, I always do something every single day. Whether it's a little bit, whether it's a lot, you know what I mean? On the days where I don't really feel like doing anything, I'll just listen to some music that I already know. Listen to some uh, songs yeah. that I already know, you know what I mean? And that's and idea. that's an easy like five or ten minutes where, 
you know, I'm still, you know, kind of activating that part of the brain where, you know, the German is stored and, you know, <laughs> without having long, to really like, yeah. Yeah. How long have you been working on German? So, I mean, I started like maybe two years ago, but I did it for like a little bit and then stopped. So it's been on and off for maybe like two years, but like consistently now it's been maybe a month or two. Okay. And yeah. do you do it just for fun or do you have like a goal with? No, like just for German fun. Or... Okay. I mean, my goal would be to like become fluent in it. I mean, mm -hmm. I, like whenever I learn a language, I mean, that's my goal. Like my yeah. goal is to be able to speak it and use it like naturally and be, be able to, uh, you know. Yeah. Go well, you know, somewhere and, and kind of blend in. Yeah. You know, but I, Can like you I, I, the... my goal when I learn a language is to become a chameleon. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can you close the lesson? Hello? There you go. Thanks. Uh, I think maybe. Hello? Yeah. Oh, there ah, we just got a funky funky connection absolutely um <laughs> there we go yeah for sure <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah it was the end too. we're all off well at least we made it to the end with our bad connection because i hear you answering things yeah, that i, I said like 20 seconds ago uh, <laughs> now we're catching up now we're catching up yeah uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, just in time, actually, that was good. It happened, at least it happened at the yeah. end. So yeah, now right. I think we're back to normal. Now we're back. So um, okay, you cool. have inspired me. I'm going to look at this app that you told me about and then. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah. And then maybe I can, I'm with Netflix and stuff. I'm sure. Do you know what I like to do? Even yeah. though I was watching like movies, like even the Disney movies, because I know them so well that even to watch it in another language, I'm not missing the story. So like, yeah. you know, but that's what hear... I was doing the other day. I was listening. I found on this playlist with like all like the most, you know, famous Disney songs, but in German and some of that's them fun. with the lyrics and the translation in the same video. So it was really, really nice. Yeah. I was listening to Tangle. Do you know that? To, um, you know, nice. when will my life be appropriate? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Do you know the one, there's the um, a comp, uh, lyrics training? I'm sure you know lyrics training, the uh, website. Yeah, but is it, 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 I've heard of it. A student um, told me about it for Try like, it. music and English. But, but and do they have it in it, other languages as well? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure they have German. They have a bunch in Italian, oh, so I'm sure they have cool. German. Um, oh, if you I'm go, check that out. there's a menu. You just select the language you want. Of course, the English oh. one is the most developed, but like, oh, um, yeah. no, I'm almost positive that they would have German. So yeah, I mean, it's kind if they of have Italian, then they they should. Have German, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shall man, we? Cool. Because our connection's getting funky. Shall we call it a day? Because it gets annoying. Yeah, yeah. I don't like do talking it. to you when I can't talk to you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. Yeah, thank you, guys. For a few minutes. We hope to see was, you soon. Yeah, have a good day. Sorry for the weird connection at the end. See you guys yeah. next time. <laughs>